Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back for another fake Grand Order video, and today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming uh, Da Vinci Little Writer banner. I don't know what I was saying right there. Uh, that's going to be today's video. I'm going to talk about her, and yeah, that's going to be today's video. Sorry if I sound a little flustered. I'm also doing this in the, during a work break, so <laughs> I have to also keep my email on the side. Just in case someone calls and say I need more work and I give them more work. But anyway, let's go over. So yeah, this is the banner a lot of people were expecting instead of the Orion one we got. Which is the one with uh, Da Vinci Lily on here. Now, uh, I don't actually remember the name of this banner. Part 2, Chapter 6, pre-release. There's so many of these that it's going to be tough to get over the specifics. But this is what's going to be in this banner. It's just literally going to be her and a couple C's. I think the C's in question are A Walk in the Park, Morning Glory, and Sunday Dinner. And I know that because I literally just read it from this site. None of them come to mind as being anything crazy broken. A Walk in the Park is 50. I'm pretty sure I have all these max on Limit Broken now that I think about it. I did try and go for Da Vinci Rider and I was unable to get her. I'm I was on, I've never been able to get any of the Da Vinci's which makes me sad because I love uh, Da Vinci. Glad I'm finally getting a free one this summer. Even though I would have really preferred summer adult Vinci. But anyway, let's go over her unit herself. Which we can go by going over to Rider. Because they don't go over the actual skills <laughs> in the little news segment. So we're back to fandom, everyone. Ah, oh, yeah. Try and avoid all the ads you can. Okay, so this is Leonardo da Vinci. This is her writer form. Uh, we have one quick, two arts, two buster. And she is a writer, as I said beforehand. Her first skill is the Golden Rule Body EX. Grants self debuff immunity for three turns. Recovers on HP every turn for three turns. Charges on MP gauge every turn for three turns. The HP regen is uh, 1,000 and the NP regen is 20%. Second skill is Excel Turn B, Grant Self Evasion for one attack, increase on critical damage for one turn. The crit damage up is 50%, and again, the evasion is for one attack, so whenever you receive the one attack, then it goes away, which is pretty nice. And Dream Upon a Star uh, increases NP party's NP <laughs> increases party's NP damage for three turns, charges party's MP gauge by 10%, and then overcharges the party's MP. MP by one stage for one turn. Uh, MP damage, as you can see here, is 30% all the way at level 10. Her passive skills are Writing B, Territory Creation C, and Overhaul E. Her pen skill is the third one, is a bonus against Alter Ego, increase on attack against Alter Ego enemies. And her Noble Phantasm is the beautiful journey of the one who is beyond the border. An anti barrier Noble Phantasm with three hits, deals damage to all enemies, and then charges party's MP gauge by 20%. NP level 1 is 450% damage, and all the way to MP5, it's 750%. Increased to own arts performance for one turn, activates first. Charge level 1 is 20% arts boost, and then all the way at level 5, at 500% charge, it is 40%. So, Vinci. I love this unit. It's a damn shame. <laughs> I was never ever ever able to get her on NA. On the JP side of the game, I used to love using her, especially with Castoria. I would be at the JP side of the game, I only had one Castoria, she only had like level 8 skills, and I was able to almost infinitely always loop with this Da Vinci. She's amazing at looping. She does so much. I think she's probably still. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong on the JP version, but I would say in NA at least, she's still the best AoE writer for arts which is crazy when you think about it she has literally no issue with uh, ever getting NP because she gets this here charges party this includes her so she gets 20% and then her first skill also gives 20% that's 40% starting <laughs> at, at, at any given point and then combine that with the fact that she's arts and she's dealing a lot of damage and she has a, a pretty crazy NP game from what I can remember um, she's able to get it and then she also has this ability here which is another in case you actually needed that little bit of the last 10%, she also has another 10% NP gauge charge, and then she also have an overcharge for the party, which is really nice. This is the thing that I think eventually busts uh, Morgan, because Morgan has this ability, but she has it on her Noble Phantasm, if I remember correctly. This is what eventually unlocks the ability for there to be like a fourth pocket meta, which is just like Morgan nonstop overcharging everyone and just doing stupid damage. Yeah, overcharges party's MP by one stage for one time three turns. 
that's on our noble phantom. This is on our skill. And this is a, this is a really good skill. I think Kama has this as well. I think every single unit that has this ability, I think, is good in some way. <laughs> I actually can't think of a unit who has this ability who is bad. There has to be one, but right now none come to mind. I can only remember the good ones. So that means if you do use it with her, the overcharge isn't 20% that she gets from arts, it's 25%, which is pretty nice. And again, this is party. It's going to be variant on the unit itself, how effective they can use the overcharge, but in general, that's good in my eyes. That's just free extra damage <laughs> for for nothing. It's pretty nice. And for some other units, there's kind of other bonus. But yeah, that's Da Vinci Rider. She's, I think, insanely good. Um... The only thing stopping me from summoning is that I already have plenty of AoE um, arts units. I don't need Da Vinci. I want Da Vinci. There's a difference. <laughs> I want this unit badly, but I know for a fact that when I look at my box and I look at who I use specifically, uh, you know, it's probably best to wait for someone for like Anniversary, like Morgan, who's going to be on a banner with a bunch of storylock dudes that will open up more team making possibilities for me. Or going for Anniversary and trying to get one of the support units, and that also opens up a lot of other things for me. In theory, I don't really need Da Vinci, but damn do I think she's a really good unit, a really fun unit, which is I think as important. And you can kind of use her in multiple different ways. You can use her as just a straight up, like, you know, three turn charge uh, party maniac and she's gonna do you solid. But then you can also just have her as a pure support and you can have her be, like, uh, helpful in the team in that way. And I think it's kind of cool when an AoE unit can kind of be two, a jack of two trades, basically. Because a lot of units who specialize in, um, uh, Farming are only really good at three turning, and then that's basically it. Uh, a good example of this would probably actually be Summer um, Musashi, who I can't really think of. Uh, anything she's no, well, her entire kid's built around being able to loop and do it extremely well. But then she kind of doesn't. She kind of dies because she's a berserker and she doesn't have a, a lot of amazing ways to survive, even though she has guts. Uh, and actually, a, a better one, a, a much better example is actually Berserker Lancelot, where Berserker Lancelot exists for one thing only, and that is to loop and loop, and that's it. And he's here for a three-turn loop. That's all he's built to do. It's the only thing he functions for. So if you're not doing that, or if you're trying to look to use him in a different, completely different way, he's not going to do that for you. I will say he's extremely good at what he does in that in that, in that instance, but maybe there's a situation where you want to use him in something else. I will say, say, in the Scotty meta, I did beat a lot of nodes by just, like, brute forcing it with Lancelot and just keeping him alive <laughs> and hoping for the best. It's definitely a valid strategy. But anyway, that's Da Vinci Rider. If you do end up going for her, I wish you the best of luck. There's a lot of stuff to kind of be waiting for. Um, happy grinding. I need, I need to get back on that summer grind myself. I need to do it before uh, Street Fighter completely overtakes everything. I kind of, I finally finished Zelda just in time for me to be back to being busy with work and just in time for Street Fighter 6 to come out. And I still need to do a lot more story notes if I'm going to be able to get the Lost Belt 6 in time. And it's going to be worth it to get the Lost Belt 6 because they're going to be offering us a lot of quartz to get there. So you absolutely 100% should be getting your ass to Lost Belt 6 if you are not there already. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Best of luck to you guys if you're summoning. I think she's worth it. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, if you want to show support, leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe to me. It helps the channel a whole bunch. It also helps my general motivation to remind me, hey, I should upload a video because people care about it. Till next time, goodbye.